and it also was an, nominated for a Grammy Award. Um, <laughs> so here's what's really interesting, is that almost 10,000 videos on YouTube out of the 200,000 are addressed to the YouTube community every day. They're videos like this. Hi, everybody. Yo, Swift Cry Job, Monkey Dude 1212 here. Hi, YouTube. This is Powers. So just thinking about why, you know, we can start with, with some studies of uh, the lack, the loss of community over time. So Robert Putnam is famous for this, but a lot of other people have been looking at this as well. Um, and you know, some of the explanations that are around for this general sense of a loss of community are things like when women join the workforce, there's, a, there's suddenly less free time. Um, moving from the corner grocery store to these large supermarkets and ultimately these huge big box stores. Uh, there's a number of things that are contributing to this, and so suddenly we're in these, these massive communities of suburbia where we're disconnected and connected only by, by roadways and TVs, and the TVs themselves are isolating. So there's many different analyses of why culture or why community has been in decline, um, and meanwhile, new forms of networks and communities are emerging. So, for example, we now have all these cell phones around, and Barry Wellman has this great uh, comment where he talks about moving from place to place to person to person connectivity, a uh, phenomenon he calls networked individualism. So you think about this state that we're in now where we're increasingly networked but also individualized. Uh, we, there's this cultural inversion going on where we're becoming increasingly individual, but many of us still have this really strong value and, and desire for community. So the more individual we become, the more we long for this community. Uh, we become increasingly independent while longing for stronger relationships. And we see increasing commercialization all around us, and we long for authenticity. And YouTube comes into the